My name is Army Sergeant Patrick Wickens. I was injured in Iraq in 2004 that resulted in the loss of my right leg at the hip and burns to the left leg. I currently live in a house with my family in Orlando, Florida. I don't really feel like it's a home. There's so many restrictions and limitations and barriers. His house is just not set up for somebody in a wheelchair. We usually get up around seven, get our son, Gavin, ready for school. He's in school by 8.45. Then we get to hang out with this grumpy guy. <laughs> watch it, watch it. Chasing the kid around is basically me driving to point A, hopping to wherever he is, point B, kind of hopping back to the chair in limited space, dinging up the, the floorboards and the corners and the doors, door frames. The littlest things, like like the littlest things for somebody is just, it's so big for him. Every move has to be planned. It's not just go somewhere and turn around and come back. The limp. Hop over here through the trail of kids' toys and access this as well as tools that I need. Standing for a long period of time is just very uncomfortable. This is our closet. For me to get back here, I have to hop very narrowly just to get a shirt. Our biggest thing is the bathroom. It's like the most unsafe place in the house when it comes to transferring from wheelchair to shower. It's barely big enough to fit the chair. That's why all the door jams and frames are all dinged up and the door itself come to the shower and it's very narrow to begin with. There's a giant lip here. I just basically hold on to the top of the shower and just kind of hop into the shower. Bathing the baby is not an easy thing to do in general, getting up and down. If I'm sick and I'm not able to help, then Pat has to do everything on his own. I get worried all the hopping here and hopping there. I think about what it's gonna be like later. Eventually, that is gonna take a toll. When you do that, over and over and over, so. <sighs> Homes for our troops is dreams come true. Homes for our troops is just absolutely amazing. It'll be a whole lot of freedom for all of us. Yeah. Even though I, I do go and I work and he wants me to do my thing, like I am a nervous wreck. How many times do I call you in a day? <laughs> like... She's gonna be able to do what she wants to do and not have to worry anytime she's at work, at class. I actually just love doing the stay at home dad thing. It's nice to just hang out with the kids and just have that time. That's the answer. We heard of Homes for Our Troops through word of mouth. Bobby Withers said he was having a groundbreaking ceremony, and I was like, what is this? Somebody's building you a house. And he's like, oh yeah, Homes for Our Troops. You ever, have you ever heard of them? I literally thought it was too good to be true. Here comes the lot up that here. That is the lot right there. By the end of next year, there will be a fully handicap accessible home on the middle of this lot. It's gonna be a real surreal feeling when we start experiencing the no lip, the doors, the big, huge rooms, big enough for me to turn around. To be able to wheel around the house, get under the sinks, in the bathroom, being able to turn around in the shower and transfer to the tub, like all that stuff is just so different from what we have right now. Like it will just take off so much more worry from me and her. I'll sleep better at night. I won't, you know, be worrying about how, how I'm gonna function the next day. And I mean, that will, trickle down to the kids. I feel like without the home in our future, it'd be just really hard for Pat. I know that there's light coming there at the end of the tunnel. These homes just bring comfort and stability and 
independence and freedom and liberation, there's no boundary after you get the keys to that house.